Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, uh, just with some 4th of July pickups or over that long weekend. Uh, we did some uh, time killing on 4th of July and we've had some time to kind of roam around in the meantime. Uh, some things that won't be shown in this uh, pickups video is that we did stumble across uh, one thrift shop that this weekend they had all of their computer monitors on sale for one dollar. So my son got a new monitor with speakers built in he keeps knocking his speakers off. He's five, so that's expected. Out in the man shed today, training to be the first man on the surface of the sun. I swear, Texas is out to kill people. And I know that there are other parts of the country that are trying to kill people worse with fires, and I know that all of you folks in Australia and New Zealand, you've got Hands down, everything's trying to kill you there, but... Anyways, back to the pickups. So, the first place we went is we went to, and most of these are going to come from Movie Trading Company, because Movie Trading Company was having a 4th of July sale, they were having free snow cones, free hot dogs, and buy two, get the third free. So, I set out with the goal that I was going to pick up things that I knew nothing about, or at least I only had some foggy recollection of. I didn't know that I would like these games, and I haven't played any of them, so I still don't know. The first thing I picked up was not part of a buy to get the third free, and it was actually this controller. Now this is a, the uh, 15th, Street Fighter 15th, and it has the, the little hologram of Ryu there and it's got the nice layout for Street Fighter or any other fighting game really and it's got feels really good feels like a uh, Super Nintendo controller got a little damage right there but uh, no big deal now the reason that the reason that I got this was that there was uh, the blue one which had Ken on it or somebody I don't remember who I couldn't I couldn't see through the bag, but it was labeled as PlayStation 2 Street Fighter controller, and it was like 10, 12 bucks, which it's a PlayStation 2 controller. This one was labeled as a Dreamcast controller and was five dollars. So, uh, as the game chasers would call it, I caught him slipping. We're going to start with the PlayStation game, which is Cold Winter and picked it up, flipped it over, and it said no tux, no license, no mercy. So this is basically, uh, from what I understand at the back, the if you are disavowed when MI6 always got that warning, if you or any of your team should be captured, blah blah blah, we'll disavow, you're already disavowed. So kind of cool. like that idea. The other game that I picked up, I have never heard of this game. Never. And that is Mendel Palace. And it's by Hudson. And just looking from the top, I have no clue what this game is about. This could be a puzzler. This could be an action jumpy thing. This could be a role playing game. I don't know. Don't know. But I'm fascinated. And I kind of miss that. That you don't you just don't know about some games. And the game that I got for free is Clash at Demon Head. Which I know I've heard, I've heard of references, I've heard people talk to it, but I don't think I've ever actually played this game. Which means that this will be a great opportunity to give it a shot. And for free, can't pass up free. The next things that I got are accessories, and there are three of them. I got them because I wanted one of them, but I found the other ones and it was buy two, get the third free, so it was dirt cheap. The first thing I'll go with is this little guy here. Now, it looks kind of like a little UFO, but what it actually is, it's a PlayStation 2 extender. And you pull this out of there, and then you plug the cable in there, and this actually flips open, and you can unwind the cable, which I'm not going to do right now. But you wind it back up, close it all down, put the plug in there, and it's all nice and self-contained. 
much better. I love Mad Cats for this. I wish these existed. Easy to get, but they're they look to be a little hard to find nowadays. The next thing that I picked up is this little beauty, which is the four-player Game Boy adapter. Now what this does is this allows you to plug this guy into player one, and then as you can see, go around uh, player two, player three, player three, and player four. And then you can hook up four Game Boys all with the same game and have them play it. So what, I've, what I'm doing now, since I have four things that can play Game Boys, I'm going to make sure I have enough cables and get all these put together so that I can play, uh, set up like a little mounted station to where there's a Game Boy facing each side and have all the cables connected so that you can slide a game in the top and play them all. That's my goal. We'll see if we get there. This is what I wanted. And this is a Nintendo DS case. Now this thing is beautiful. I really love it. It's nice maroon. It's nice and durable. And you pop it open. Pop it open. And it's got the DS and it's got a little spot for a pen there where I've got my Star Wars pen. And then up on the lid, pull that back and it's got a spot for games. And it's also got a spot for a spare pen. I love the fact that it has a spot for a spare pen. So ideally you can have three pens in here, one pen here, one pen here, and one pen in the DS. And I've been actually using this to cart around back and forth to work just because I can take this and just toss it in my bag, take it to work. The last three games I got before I actually melt before your very eyes uh, are uh, the one that uh, my son picked up that got it for my wife because he's now got a 360 and she said that if he got it they would play it again as Viva Pinata. This game ruled my house. This game was the Animal Crossing of when we had a 360 way back when. Which uh, for those of you who don't no, haven't watched an earlier video. Uh, when my nephew's 360 died, I gave the 360 to him. Old story by now. Um, and this is the other one that I picked up. Is I just saw this and I was like, this is by far the coolest cover I've seen in a while. Invasion from Beyond. It looks very much uh, like a 40s, 50s style art. And it looks pretty cool. Don't know anything about it, once again. And of course, uh, I seem to be finding a lot of these, but this is the uh, PlayStation long box of DEF CON 5. And the whole reason that I got it are the top two screenshots there, which lets me know that there is a full motion video and that there are mechs in this game. Full motion video plus mechs equals I'm buying it. So those are my pickups. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to go inside before I melt. I'm going to rehydrate uh, because most of it's in my shirt at this point. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!